Oh, hello everyone. Let me make sure that my mic is on. It's on. Okay, good. I thought so I'm going to forget something today. I hope you all are doing well. Let me know how things are doing in your neck of the woods. It's actually a pretty beautiful day here, which is not normal. Yesterday, you guys know, it was a rainy, horrible day, pretty much. Our ceiling was leaking all over my new couch. <clears throat> It, it was, there was a lot going on yesterday. It was raining, but don't worry. My couch is fine. Everything is fine. Um, isn't that what we say, Becca? It's okay. Everything's fine. It's good. All, yeah. Everything's, it's good. It's everything's fine. fine. Yeah. Uh, so if you're here, welcome. We're so excited to share this craft with you all today. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And the voice that you hear from beyond is Becca. She's also an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. So we're so excited to be here today. If you notice, there's a switcheroo in the lives today, about two hours ago, and it is all my fault. I wanted to make DIY screen print confetti for you all. And the problem is I took Friday off and wasn't paying attention to what my live could be this Tuesday. I'm like, I don't have Monday's live, that's Anna's. I be able to prep whatever it is pretty quickly, right? wrong why i didn't check is beyond me um and it was screen printing confetti diy screen printing confetti so the tests weren't doing so hot so we thought you know we're just gonna do a little switcheroo today we'll save this for another day we'll save this for another day yeah. when i'm much more prepared and um not cutting corners because that is not how we're doing things here so i do apologize for the switcheroo however this has been on my list of lives that i've wanted to do for several weeks now uh, and I'm really excited to do it for you all today. We're going to be addressing some envelopes with our Cricut. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. This, in my opinion, is the easiest way to do it. And you guys might not have thought about it. Um, I'm excited to share it with you. I'm excited. Now, we're also going to go ahead and make a really simple envelope because uh, at Oak and Lamb, we do have a lot of really cute envelope cut files. So I wanted to uh, highlight some of those today, let you guys see them. We're gonna be doing one of the simpler ones um, and then demonstrating how we're gonna be using Cricut pens to perfectly place and address envelopes that you make or that you buy. You can do this with store-bought or homemade envelopes. Totally doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be showing you how to do that today. So stinking cute. Um, I'm excited for this topic. I'm so, I'm, I'm excited that you're excited. Uh, we have been doing, I just told Becca last week, a lot more paper crafts than I thought we would. We bought a couple packs of cardstock and we have went through them. We've used a lot, which is great. I love that we're using them. A lot of people that have crickets use paper. Paper crafting is one of the more popular things to do with your machine. And if you are a Cricut beginner and you're kind of diving into the paper crafting world and you're like, well, I'd like to address some envelopes with my Cricut. This is an easy way to do that because you can use Cricut pins to do this and place them perfectly on here. So it's going to be great. Okay. Letty, I'm so excited to catch a live with you guys. We're so excited that you're catching a live with us too. Thank you all for being here. Yes. Yes. Been busy crafting again today, Shirley. Shirley, you making anything good? Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Well, Becca will stop me if there's any questions for sure. But supplies, extremely minimal. We have our Cricut. It doesn't matter which Cricut. I'm going to scoot it. Well, actually, I'm going to leave it here. You can see right now it's Cricut. It's the Cricut Maker 3 is what we're using today. However, you can use any Cricut to make this. Even the Joy, if... Your card is small. Yeah, you just need to make a little envelope. You just got to make a little envelope. But uh, if it's a pre-made envelope, you don't have to worry about cutting it with your Joy, of course, because that would be like impossibly small. Uh, then this would work because I think I think it's in the size restrictions. Yes, it is. So you can totally address an A2 sized envelope with your Cricut Joy because you also have Cricut Joy pins. Don't get me started on that debacle. You have to have different pins with your Joy than with the other machines. It doesn't fit the same housing, yeah, you know. So we have our Cricut Maker 3 today. A pretty well-loved standard grip mat, but I would urge you if you're using pre-made envelopes, you might want a bit of a stickier mat. You don't want this moving on you or anything like that. So just in case our paper wants to move on us, we also have a brayer that we're gonna make sure it's good and adhered to our mat with. Um, okay, and then 
cardstock. We're going to be using this color. This is a just a cardstock pack from Hobby Lobby. It is textured, which I meant to mention this, and I'm glad that I remembered. You want to make sure whenever you place your paper down that it's not textured where the pen is going to draw because that texture, it's just like if you put a Sharpie onto paper, that ink is going to bleed. You don't want that to happen. So if your paper is textured or has a, a you know a different kind of finish to it you want to pay attention to that and make sure you put it on the side that is nice and flat for you um, so we're just going to be using this color the sample was like a mustardy yellow color but in this light it almost looks greenish I love that color though do you in person I do yeah I do for some reason I think it looks a little more odd in the light I don't know uh, we're not using a regular Cricut pen and I did find it and I linked it below it is the medium tip the 1.0 the 1.0 medium tip so it's not fine tip that's usually what they are this is I'm gonna classify this as a marker yeah the tip is not a <clears throat> pen tip it's a marker tip and it colors much better bolder so if you choose a font wisely like I did today again I'll show it to you um, I'm also going to do one thing different in the one I'm going to share with you than my sample which is I'm going to make the letter spacing just a little bit farther out um, but if you choose a nice font and you use this marker and you don't tell your Cricut you're using this marker then it's going to kind of fill in your font and look great so again I'll be sharing with you all that don't think this is overwhelming I know there's a lot of different moving parts today um, I'm unable to use Sharpies in my maker. I haven't found a marker that will. Shirley, I have a video coming out. I haven't filmed it yet, you know, because that's just how it goes. But I did buy the markers. They're right under this table right here, and I'm going to share with you how to use non-Cricut brand markers, a bunch of different ones, with your machine. Believe it or not, one of my favorite types is from the dollar store, uh, which is great because they're only $1.25. Because, you know, they raise their prices. Everything's $1.25 now, not a dollar, whatever. So I'll be sharing with you a video on that very, very soon. I'm going to film it. I need to film it very soon for you guys. Um, so stay tuned because that's a great video. Again, great, great education there. Okay, let me see. I don't want to miss anything. But, again, Becca's here doing the job of about six people, making sure that the cameras are changed and the comments are answered and I know what I'm doing. Um, okay, we have that. We have our uh, uh, scoring stylus. You can use your scoring wheel since this is the Maker 3, but we prefer to use our scoring stylus on general things like this because it's a little bit more convenient. We're not saying that the scoring wheel is any less, it, it doesn't do the job any less or anything like that. It's, it's really good at what it does. It rolls on the paper instead of drags on the paper for some things for thicker materials you definitely just want to go ahead and use your uh, scoring wheel for most things like this I use a scoring stylus Becca usually uses a scoring stylus for things like this uh, to each their own if you want to use your scoring wheel go for it if you don't have a maker even better because this is your only option Becca does the joy have a scoring not that oh. I'm remembering okay which is no. really odd because it's made four cards I don't know Maybe I don't know. I hate putting Beck on the spot, but I don't know either. And if she doesn't know, that makes me I've feel never better. Never try. Makes me feel better about not knowing. Uh, so yeah, we have our fine tip. Nope, medium tip pen. I just chose black. Choose any color. Air brayer, which has a bunch of sawdust on it. Thanks, Anna. Have to like wipe off my brayer. How dare you? I'm kidding. If you guys missed yesterday's live, it was Anna's very first live. It was a good one. And funny. So there are third-party adapters that you can put in your Cricut. For, to use this one? Yeah, we're going to have to order one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah we are. That would be great. <laughs> uh, that's it. We're going to be making a very simple envelope today. I'm even simplifying it more than Becca's simple, simple file. What? Right? Um, who cares about who made it? Who cares about the designer? I don't. I, mean, I, I don't even need to make files anymore. No, you don't. No. I, I took out the liner. That's it. Um, it <laughs> added a lot more weight, and I wasn't in the mood to line it up. Is that the simple envelope it was with laziness. the slit in it? Huh? The simple envelope? The self-sealing envelope? No, I didn't even choose that one. That's Dear how Lord. <laughs> this was a test. No, there's a lot of cute. I'm going to show yeah, you the really cute files. Hang on, let me go over there right now, just while it's <laughs> fresh on my mind. That way you can uh, honestly see how cute they are. 
Okay. I'm going to go to cut files. Look at us. We're adorable. Uh, Becca, did you tell them that we ordered more of those? I didn't tell them. Mm -mm. So we have more of those coming of our little... They're not cartoons. What do we call them? I don't know, because they're not caricatures either. No, they're not. Like, they're darn, I'm, whatever they are, they're darn yeah. cute. And we animated. They're animated. Animated. Yeah, they're us animated. Okay, I'm going to search envelope. Also, if you haven't checked out the new files, oh, they're to die for. And look how cute these are. Okay, so we have a simple self-sealing, rounded. The one that says hi, we have a scalloped. One that has like a beautiful lacy edge. This one says, I love you. This one has like a heart edge. It's really small and detailed and adorable. And then this is the one I chose, which is the most simple one in the bunch because I am boring. Uh, so I just, I just chose the, the simple envelope is what I did. But as you can see, we have a lot of really fun ones. The self-sealing ones are really fun. But of course, why would I want to share with you that ingenuity today? I'm just going to share with you the really, the really simple one. <laughs> but... We're over here in design space, and here is how the envelope cut file that we're using imports. Very easy. The only thing you need to do with this if you want to use it as Miss Becca has created it is click this black box here. You can see I clicked it in the layers panel because you might be wondering what that's for. This is what we're going to be transforming into score lines. You have to do this with all uh, cut files that have score lines, unfortunately. So we've clicked our little box. All you have to do is go up here from basic cut to score. And we're gonna take all this, attach it together. I did that incorrectly, excuse me. Ungroup, you wanna attach these two together, attach. Uh, if you don't attach these, your score lines with your envelope base, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut right where you want it, or excuse me, it's not gonna score right where you want it to score. So now that's done. All this is sized properly. Crap. Look at me, Becca. Where's that line at? Where's he at? We have you another basic Are you cut. doing a liner? No, I'm just sharing with them, though, if they oh. wanted to use it how you had it. I'm saying, I mean, you just delete it. Because you're the creator <laughs> You don't need it. <laughs> no, you don't. We're going to delete this. But if you wanted to Wait, use it made this. not the lazy way that I did, then that's what you have to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like, always make a liner in your envelope. <laughs> Says the one that didn't even put a liner in her card for her husband's 15th anniversary. It was just my husband, though. That's what she said. She was like, oh, it's just Wayne. I didn't want him to think it was store-bought. No, 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 no. Yeah. You could. You had to write it in Made because with love. you're such a perfectionist. Yes. That's yeah. what it was. So once you have everything attached together, we don't want that because I'm lazy today. So this is what our envelope, this is how she imports. Looking fresh. Um, yeah. We already now, have an um, admirer of your addresses. No. Tennessee Jenny, yes. Did they know? I, I, Did she know? She appears to know, yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't know, I'll go ahead and bring this in. Um, I made me and Becca number one neighbors. Why, why you would have to send a letter to your direct neighbor is beyond I'd send me. You in it. I, I'd send you a letter. Like literally right next to each other. Yeah. But this is uh, SpongeBob and Patrick's addresses from SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm SpongeBob, of course, and Becca is Patrick. Um and we're neighbors. But anyways, I'm so glad that someone noticed that already. Because I'm sitting here thinking, what am I going to do? Like, one, two, three, four, street, street. Like, I didn't want it. I wanted it to be an actual address, yeah. but not our address. Oh, it is. So, here, so this is Bikini in Bikini Bottom. bottom. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. come at me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have our envelope done. This is the one we're going to be using. I'm going to take this one and go ahead and delete that sucker. And here's what you want to do. Your envelope, you want your... Um, Cricut to be able to draw this in the area that you're going to have it. But again, I'm going to be sharing with you how to do this if you don't make your own envelope. So I'm going to show you both ways because a lot of people want to store by your envelopes and um, place your addresses on them that way. So if you are going ahead and uh, creating your envelope as well, it's honestly just as easy as taking your addresses and putting them right here in the center and attaching them. That's how simple it is if you're creating your envelope. Because then the Cricut will go through, um, score this, cut this, draw this, and then you just peel it off and put it together. Uh, but if you're making your own envelope and then placing your dress on it, it's a little bit more complicated than that. First of all, you want to see what size your envelope is. So if you have a pre-made envelope, just measure it. So the envelope that we're using today is 5.78 by 3.902. Now that is important because 
if I'm remembering correctly, if I did my math correctly, um, that's the size of a folded uh, envelope for an A2 size card. I think I did have to size it down a little bit because it was over the size restriction. So don't quote me on that, but you get the point. Measure your envelope physically that you have if it's a pre-made one and put it in here in a basic shape in design space. So I'm just gonna take this, duplicate it, and we have it here. Here, I'll bring this one over and grab you a font. Look at this text box. How do we feel about the new text box? Has anyone used this text box? What, how do we feel about it? Let me know. Uh, so this is going to, why did it do that? Rachel Langston, and I'm gonna click return or enter. This thing is humongous. How do I size this down? Sizing this down. Now we can work with this a little bit. I'm still not used to this. I was just telling Becca today. I'm not at all used to this yet. That's one, two, four, Conch Street. And of course you can spell it out or whatever you wanna do. Honestly, whatever you think is more pleasing to the eye. I don't have a preference when it comes to, to this. You might wanna make your first name and last name larger and then the actual address smaller. Again, total personal preference here. Now, at this point, if you like this, you can be done. I want to do a couple more things to it. So a couple things that I get nitpicky about is alignment. I wanna go up and use my alignment tool and I'm gonna center this. I want it nice and centered. And as you can tell, the spaces are pretty far away from each other. So I'm gonna go up here to line space and bring the, click, click the down arrow basically over and over until I kind of like the spacing better. And then on my sample, I think the letters are a hair close together, especially because we trick our pen, uh, our Cricut into thinking we're using a fine pen, but we're using a medium pen. And I'll tell you why we do that as well after we fix the spacing. So right next to line spacing, which we just used, is letter spacing. So we're gonna go up with our arrow and just bring that out a little bit, kind of make it a, bit, a little bit wider. And now you're gonna fit it to your envelope. I'm gonna size it down a little bit bring it here, make it as big or as small as you want, you know, whatever. And you guys get the, get the gist here. I'm just gonna take this one and detach it and duplicate this because I'm just doing the same thing here. Except I wanna take my line spacing, make my line spacing bigger. Okay, now for the pen, I'm gonna take this, gonna go up to operation where it says basic cut, and I'm gonna change this from a basic cut to a pin, and it's gonna automatically select the fine point pin form, you can see right here. We're gonna leave that as the fine point pin. The reason for that is because I want this to draw a little bit bolder. If I were to change this to a medium point, it would have it would draw these lines even wider apart than they already are and make it look like the font needs to be filled in. However, if I leave it on fine but use the medium pen, it's gonna trick my Cricut into thinking, okay, this is a smaller pen. I'm gonna make my lines smaller, closer together, and then it ends up filling the font. It actually looks Super good, I'm really impressed with it. Okay, so we have both of these on here. They're both the same um, color, although it doesn't look like it. I'm gonna make sure. Fine point, black, fine point. Okay, so we're gonna take this and the Rachel Langston and the envelope, of course, we're gonna take both of those and only select them. You can tell in the layers panel which layers you're working with are selected. And I'm gonna align this to the center. Wow, click the wrong button. That looks great. And for this one, I kind of, quote, eyeball it, but it's kind of hard not to eyeball something that goes in the top corner of something. So I'm just gonna pop it right there. So this, is, this <coughs> looks good to me. At this point, you're gonna take both of these and attach them together, just like this one. Now I can take this and erase it. And this is, this is the look we're going for. This is what we're going for. Again, make this bigger, make this smaller, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna detach and get super nitpicky with it, you can make this a little bit smaller. I mean, whatever you wanna do. This looks a little bit big to me, so I'm gonna size it down a little bit. You know, get, get nitpicky with it. So I'm gonna select both of those. Once again, center them up. This looks fantastic. Now, once you're done getting nitpicky, like I mentioned, you're gonna attach all of this together, right like that. And again, I'm gonna go through this. So the square we're using, 
is the size of the envelope that we're making. That's what that is. Now over here is our actual envelope. You wanna make sure these match here. You can bring that in. It is the exact size as our score lines. Something handy you can do as well if you're doing it this way is upload this and you can actually use this black box to duplicate and now your black box can be your base because it's that exact same size. So that, that's something fun that you can do. Okay, so at this point, these are like two different projects and I'll tell you why. Because if you wanted to take both of these, forgive me for duplicating this again. I'm gonna group this and duplicate that and attach that back together. If you wanted to take this and place it right on here, you can absolutely do that. You can attach all of this together and now your envelope here in Design Space will score, cut, and draw all on this just as you see it. So this is not a, a hard thing to do, but if you wanna use pre-made envelopes, that is what this is for. So these are basically do two different projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach this and perfect. So we're going to do this in stages. The first stage is creating our envelope uh, that we can then pre-make to place our um, address on because that's kind of like the harder thing to do. So I'm going to take this and first of all save. Save all of your projects. Please do that. So I have saved them and it's super important to have the pre-made envelope size extremely accurate in design space because that's what's going to be your um, your representation here. This is representing a pre-made face of an envelope that you're gonna be placing this on. And if you're off by even a little bit, it's not gonna look correct on your envelope once your Cricut is done uh, drawing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this layer because we're just gonna say, okay, we're gonna make an envelope and pre-make this for us today. So I'm gonna click make it. You guys are getting like a two for today. I'm gonna click continue and connect to my Cricut Mega 3. Plug this in. Sometimes this happens, it's okay, it's whatever you do. Beth said, by the way, my husband and I are in love with the new cut files. We feel like you know us so well. Oh. It's so funny how many of us in the fog are massive homebodies. Right? If you missed the cut file collection yesterday, it was like a homebody, antisocial, introvert. Ew, people. Ew, people. <laughs> I hate bras type of cut file collection. Just release. It was hysterical. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. <clears throat> okay. So we have our base material set to medium cardstock. If you're unsure of the poundage of your cardstock, go with medium. If you yeah. feel like it's a pretty thick material, go with uh, heavy cardstock. Uh, I, I don't think I'd ever use light cardstock. In fact, I even think it's not even a um, a material setting anymore. Is it not? I don't think it. Let I me check. Look. It was gone <clears throat> for a while. Let me see. There's a light. Oh, there is a light car sock. I the don't think I'd ever use The only time I would use it. light maybe is if I had a brand new blade and, and pattern card stock because it's pretty oh, light. Pattern. It's pretty that's, thin. Yeah, that's yeah. good, Becca. That's good. Okay, so medium car stock. We're going to leave that on default pressure, and I'm going to edit my tools here. And as you can see, once you click your material, it's going to go ahead and bump you to number two, which is just to load your material in your mat. And it's wanting me to use my score, single scoring wheel. And I don't want to do that. I want to use my scoring stylus. So how you stop that is by clicking edit tools and clicking scoring stylus. It's that easy. Okay. So now we'll apply our paper onto our mat and we have our brayer here. Again, this is the cardstock pack that we've chosen. There's 15 colors. Uh, and again, it is textured. So we're going to be placing this this way, face down on the mat like that. Um, personal preference. Okay. Take this. And again, that pen, if this is texture, that pen might not, or excuse me, it's more like a marker. It might bleed a little bit on that texture. And we don't want that. This is almost the same color as this mat. It's going to braid this down because like I said, this is a pretty well loved mat. And now we can just load it into our Cricut and I hope it's in the frame. Becca's going to tell me when it is. You're good. Yeah. Perfect. Load it on in. And it's so easy to load the scoring stylus. Super, super easy. I'm gonna switch over so I can see your beautiful comments because I've missed you. I'm 
going to wait for it to um, measure the mat. I hate that it does that. Measure the mat. Okay. I'm going to open clamp A. Pop this in. Becca, do you agree that on other machines you should hear a good satisfying pop noise? When like a pin is inserted into clamp B or the scoring sauce is inserted in clamp B. We don't hear that. But at least you feel it with your hands when it's all the way down. Because yeah. we used to say listen for the listen click. Listen for the click. Yeah. It was a nice click. We don't get the click. But it makes me wonder if they've improved it. Because remember how many of the adapters we broke and yes. how many shot back out? Yeah. It so it was the weirdest thing. We would literally, I'll go ahead and press this. We would literally be like, okay, we're going to draw. And during the live, this thing would just shoot out like a spring. It was Funny, but sad. Rachel, we have, we have a great adapters. question, which we've yeah. talked about it before, but she says, remind me, why do you prefer the scoring stylus over the wheel? I love this. So it's not a preference of quality. It's a preference of laziness. Laziness. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I was, that's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, laziness. <clears throat> it goes in clamp B. Um, your scoring wheel does if you have a maker. And... If it went in clamp B, we would have that in clamp B first, let it score. Then we would have to go to clamp B, remove that from clamp B, and add our fine point blade into clamp B. In the, probably in the amount of time, it just took that to do the entire envelope. I mean, it's, it's done. Uh, the scoring stylus goes in clamp A in your machine, which is just more convenient. Uh, now, again, I, I'm not vouching for this. I've never had to use it. Becca's more of the paper crafter, and she prefers to use the double scoring wheel on thicker material. Is that right, Becca? Yes, especially on craft board. Yes. Yeah. So if it's a thicker <clears throat> material and you have the maker and you have that, go ahead and use it. I will also say if you're using a white core cardstock, I prefer the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel to the scoring stylus yeah. because. Um, the scoring stylus drags, whereas the scoring wheel rolls. rolls. And if you have a white core and there happens to be too much pressure on it, then it can drag through to the white core. So uh, just a couple of things to think about. Am I done with this? No. <laughs> Thought it was done. Okay. I don't know which camera you're on. It doesn't really matter. I'm overhead, but I can. Okay. No, you can flip to here. I'm, I'm not overhead. I'm sorry. I meant front facing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see the score lines. Probably not. Um, no, you can't really. Okay. Well, there's. it's a little box here. Yeah. I'm just going to go through and score these with my hands. Um, this is white cork cardstock, which Beck was just talking about. So I am not opting. That's take, white cord? This is white cord. Oh. Yeah. Well, it didn't look bad. Unfortunately. It did fine. White cord. No, it, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's also a little bit on the thicker side. But I'm not going to opt to get my bone folder and, r like, really crease this down because then I'm just going to shred that white core, and you're going to be able to see it, and it's going to look cheap. Um, so I'm just going to do this by hand, gently. Gently. Terry says, I know this has nothing to do with our today crafting, but it has to do with crafting. So fine. feel free. Yeah. Uh, Nito is having 50% off their sticker paper sheets. They have the new holographic sticker sheets. I mm -hmm. love the Nito sticker sheets. And then she shared a promo code. So that's really fun. I haven't Thank looked at the holographic you. sticker sheets. Yeah. Thanks Terry, for sharing Terry, did you them. enjoy your birthday? Yes. Did you eat some tacos for me last night? She I got, sure I you heard, uh, donuts instead of cake because that's what she wanted from her husband brought her donuts. I'm all for that. Same. I'm all for that. I love a good donut. Mm -hmm. I can't choose donuts over cake, but you know how some people are like a pie only? Mm -hmm, they like mm -hmm. just want, doesn't Wayne love pie? Wayne loves and cobbler, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, oh, I love a good cobbler. Yeah. But I will really just sweets in general. Desserts in, in, in total, because I love cheesecake and cake and pie, and you know. We are not You just can't stop or, me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not picky when it comes to my desserts. Uh, but some people just prefer other things, and you better get exactly what you want for your birthday. So if you don't want a cake, then I hope you got exactly what you wanted. I agree. Okay. The easiest envelope in the world. I'm going to grab our ATG gun because I totally forgot to mention it as a supply because I put it back where it goes because I'm a responsible crafter. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. Uh, and I forgot about it. But we're using we're using this sucker today. You can't get it because it's out of stock. So I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry about it. Sorry about it. This is amazing. It. You can't. It's buy amazing. It. You can't purchase it. Uh, it's great though. And so envelopes they confuse me. You put this flap in, and then these flaps in. Right. Or is it the? I other do way? the other way. The other way. Becca does it the other way. 
side flaps in, then this flap. Yeah. Oh, that looks that looks better. It's very nice. That yes. looks right. Mm -hmm. See, I told you they confused me, and it's I okay. was correct. So, honestly, does it look horrible either way? I don't know. Well, you can't tell when it's closed. How, That's true. Yeah. Because I did this one the other way. Oh, you can tell. Yeah, you can I don't tell. love it. I don't love it. I'm not <laughs> a fan. That's okay, guys. You know, it's a test. It's a, It was a test. I would have done this one the same way, too, if Becca wasn't here. See how bad I need her? Okay. So I'm going to take this, and you would think, since you're going to be folding the envelope this way, you're going to put adhesive on this, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an adhesive on these because it's going to be less confusing for me. Uh, whereas this, I'm kind of like guessing, half guessing where the adhesive is going to lay, and I don't want to like get any adhesive where I don't want it. So I'm going to add the adhesive to my little side flaps here. Just so much adhesive. <laughs> Poor Becca. Becca's like, Rachel, you know we pay for that now. I'm not paying attention, so it's fine. That's okay. Um, Terry said she did have taco salad with habanero sauce. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now Kat wants tacos. I'm on board with Taco Tuesday, Kat, for Guys, sure. James got Taco Bell without me yesterday. Oh, why would he do that? He went to the gym with his friend. And then went to Taco Bell. And then went to Taco Bell. That makes sense. And I'm, right? Yeah. Right? Because okay. he just works so hard. What, well, he, he <laughs> needed a reward. reward I get it. Taco Bell I get and a, it. And a large Baja Blast. I feel it. I don't care. A Baja Blast. Yeah. Oh that's fine. So, <laughs> uh, I'll probably be getting that today and then not getting him some just to spite him. I'm joking. I'll probably ask if he wants some. Yeah, you will because you're so nice. Um, okay, so look at our adorable little envelope. How stinking cute is he? Now I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive here at the top. Boo -doop. Boo -doop. Just enough to get it to stick flat for me like that. And then, of course, it flaps up easy. You can just open it, close it back, whatever you want to do. So that's the envelope. I'm going to take this and braid this sucker down because I want it nice and flat. That's another reason why getting pre-made ones work extremely well for it. Well, I was reading Kat's comment and she said Taco Bell. Uh, that's why I love using the ATG gun and using pre-made envelopes because they're much flatter. They come like 30 in a pack and they're flat and they go on your mat easier. Taco Bell is not real tacos, Rach. No, no, Kat. Oh, no, 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 we know that. This is my argument. I'm going to lay this on here. Well, actually, I'll do that in a minute because I really got to explain myself there. Uh, you don't go to Crystal's when you're craving a cheeseburger. Correct. The same way that you do not go to Taco Bell when you crave Mexican. It's totally different. Not even the same flavor, not even close to the same thing. It's like its own thing. When you want a Crystal's burger, it's because you want a Crystal's burger. And when I want Taco Bell, it's because I want fire sauce. I just want to drown something in fire sauce. Oh, disgusting. Oh, it's the best. And then my heartburn while I'm pregnant, I yeah. pay for it all she, night. She's Worth been it. chomping on the tongue. Worth it. I don't want to get a kidney stone, a huge one, and Beck has warned me about it. But, the, I mean, I, I would rather have a kidney uh, Never mind. I'm not going to say that. She goes, uh, never mind. No, I would, <laughs> wouldn't rather have a kidney stone. Okay. So... We've made our envelope. Now we're going to be starting this from the fact of, look, I have a pre-made envelope that I bought in a massive pack, and I want to put a address on it. This is what we're doing. Now, Becca, if you don't care, we're going to go back into design space. Oh, you want me to do my job? I, just for a minute. Okay. Real cool. just I'm real trying quick. to fix the thumbnail because you had to – I forgot <clears throat> that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to remind you because it was my fault. That's what I'm doing right now. I appreciate. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we don't need him, and we do need him. And what did I do? Here we go. Got it. I'm gonna attach this together because it was wasn't attached properly. Okay, so now all I did was hide the other one and import this one because this is exactly how we would import it if we were using. Um, using a pre-made envelope. So our envelope is the exact same size as this piece of paper that we have imported into Design Space and put our addresses on uh, in Bikini Bottom. So now we're gonna click Make It. Again, we've measured twice, making sure that everything is centered correctly. We're gonna be using a mat today. We're gonna click Continue, Continue Again. Perfect. And we're just going to click medium cardstock. It doesn't matter what type of um, material your 
envelope is. It's paper. The pen is going to draw on it just fine. Uh, it thinks we're going to cut this, FYI. You probably already thought about that. It thinks you're going to cut it. But, little tip, you're going to take your fine point blade out of its uh, housing. So that's why it's asking you your material setting. It's because it thinks we're going to cut it, but we are not going to cut this. Now, if you want to click this and see, I'm going to click edit mat really quick. You can see this is going to go in the top left corner of the mat. That's always where things like this are going to go. Um, now, you can see that's where it needs to go. So we're going to place it on the mat exactly where it is here in design space on our mat. We have a great question. Please <clears throat> ask. Um, kind of on topic with the Neato printable vinyl. Yeah. Um, neither one of us know this, so I'm asking you all. Uh, those of you who have used Zakoto and Neato, which do you prefer better? Let us know. We need to buy some. We do. No, we will. Yeah. Absolutely. Because I'm going to try the holographic For sure. Stuff. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so it's telling us to load our black pin and clamp A in the fine point blade and clamp B. We're only going to do like half of that. So if we can go overhead, we have our envelope here. And you might say in your heart, I want to put this right here in the very corner, just like that. Here's the problem. The Cricut, for whatever reason, only will cut, draw, whatever at 11 and a half inches. This is a 12 inch mat. So what we're gonna do is pull it down a little and over a little off of the lines. More like this. Do you all see? Do you all see? We have a little bit of space up top and a little bit of space on the side. Do we see this? I hope we see this. This is what's going to ensure it's going to do this properly. Now, if we scooted it completely in the corner again, the Cricut, it's like it doesn't even recognize a quarter inch on both on any of these sides because it only cuts 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but this is a 12 inch mat. I hope that makes sense. So we just kind of want to offset it from the direct corner just a little bit. Now we're going to take our brayer, bray this down. Make sure it's nice and straight. Looks good and straight to me. Now we're going to load this into our machine. If we'll switch over, I'm going to load this in. Do you love how Rachel keeps giving me cues because she knows I'm not listening? I know she's not, and that's fine. She's she's fixing <laughs> my boo boo from earlier, and I will give her all the grace that she needs because she deserves it for dealing with me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take your fine blade out. Take our scoring stylus out and only put our pin in, okay? So I'm going to take that out of clamp A, pop it back over here where Becca did not have it. I'll fix that later. <laughs> Was that in the wrong spot? I, no, I put it Oh, in you put it in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, she looked at me. Oh, no, it was me. It was me. <laughs> I'm going to open clamp B and take our fine point blade out. And you guys are probably like, well, that's not exactly necessary. When you get to talking and you forget, this sucker is going to draw it and then try and cut it, and it will ruin our project. We don't want that. So we're eliminating <clears throat> that factor by just taking the whole blade out. The Cricut doesn't know we took the blade out. We're tricking the Cricut. So, Rach, for those who um, may be just joining, why, are, why didn't you write on the envelope from the very beginning? Like so, while you were cutting it out. Okay, because we're showing how to do this on a pre-made, pre-bought envelope. If you do want to know how to go ahead and draw this on an envelope that you are cutting with your Cricut, that is in design space. Skip back a little bit, and I definitely shared with you how to do that. But a lot of people for weddings and things like that would like a good hand-drawn look for their invitations, but they can't make all those envelopes by hand. So this is for if you purchase a big batch of envelopes from the store, and you're like, I want to embellish these. I want to make these beautiful. This is how you do it pre-made, basically. Um, hope that answers your question. We're also tricking our Cricut thinking it's going to be using a fine pen and we're using a medium pen. Like I said, hopefully it's going to do great. The test did great. All, honestly, with lives, you never know. So that's why I'm saying hopefully. <laughs> so I'm popping this in clamp A. Ooh, that had a nice click. Let's see if you can hear it. Not I'm bad, gonna, not that bad. That was a pretty click. I like that click. Um, now we're ready, ready to rock and roll. I'm going to click the flashing start button and it's going to go through and draw it. And then it's going to say cutting <clears throat> we're not going to cut it we're just going to uh pause it unload the mat and marvel at our beautiful envelope right real-time question from beth fitzgibbon hello beth what material do i choose if i'm using oracle stencil vinyl have you used oracle stencil vinyl recently enough to remember what material setting 
No. I'm I would probably just use a permanent mat setting with maybe more with pressure. extra pressure. Maybe yeah. more pressure, yeah. depending on your blade. Um, thanks for asking, though. Sorry, I'm just not a wealth of information today on that. I don't want to tell you wrong, because I could. I could try and act like I'm a know-it-all and tell you a setting, and it'd just be horrible. Oh, my gosh, cat. Cat, cat said, was Anna okay after the live yesterday? <laughs> So I, I think didn't get to did, watch it because I had a day from she hell. She said, I think she did an awesome job. Cat, she did. I yeah. really was trying to stroke her ego in a positive way yesterday after the live. And when you're up here, me and Becca know this feeling well. When you're up here and it's your first live, you're stressed. You think everything's going to go wrong. You're not very confident. Um, you're scared of backlash. You're scared of saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing. <laughs> and poor Anna did have some, <clears throat> some uh, little bumps in the road. But it's fine. I personally think she handled the bumps in the road like an absolute champ. And here's the thing. But did she feel like she had a rough time? Yes. Did you all know? You all loved it. I loved it. She did a great job. Um, I think she's fine. Until you've been up here, like you can say, oh, it's just crafting. You're not even really in front of people. Yeah. For whatever reason, if you don't know our community like we know you and know how amazing and kind and yeah. like it, it can be intimidating and for gracious. sure. And gracious. You guys are phenomenal um it was i forget i have been doing live streams for so many years that i forget that new people have like the pit in their stomach nervous feeling before they get up on here i'm i'm gonna say just as if not more comfortable talking with you all than my own family Same. like my own blood family because you guys are my family but a different kind of family um it's so easy to talk to you it's so easy to teach when i'm up here with you when I think about friend, my friends and family that are here watching these, it makes me sick. I'm like, oh, no. That is so funny. I hope nobody I know is watching this. Nobody I know. You know what I mean. Um, but I forget that it's such a nerve-wracking process when you've never done it. I remember when Becca started and we threw her in front of the camera and she was like, when are you not nervous, Rachel? And I'm like, oh, it'll, it'll wear off. And it does. It'll totally wear yeah. off. You don't have to worry about that. First thing, I'm going to take my pen out. I don't want the sucker to dry out. I'm going to take this out as soon as it's done. A lot of people are like, store it upside down or store it cap down. Store it however you want. Mm, I, have, yeah. I have no preference on how you store pins. Gravity is not going to hurt your pin, honestly. Um, so if you're ready to see this, I'm ready to show you. So I'm going to move our Cricut out. Oh, that would be bad. Unload the mat. And look how cute. This is perfect. It is This perfect. looks perfect. So I'm going to take it off of our mat, our little pre-made, quote-unquote, envelope, and look how stinking cute this is. Even better than this one. This one, I guess I had up in the corner too much because it's a hair off center. Again, it was a test. But if you bring it a little down, a little over, it's perfect. I mean, this is beautiful. It looks like a filled-in font because, again, we tricked our Cricut into thinking uh, that it was using a fine pen instead of a medium pen, or else if I had changed the setting, it would have spaced the lines out more because Cricut does not fill in fonts. But with that that little hack of the marker, it did really well. So that's how you use pre-made envelopes, and you're able to size them properly in design space. Just take it, make sure you size it perfectly, just like I did in design space. Pop that dimension in design space. Add your... Uh, bikini bottom addresses. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you center this one. Stick this one where you want it. Attach it. Take your fine point blade out. There was a lot of interesting things I did for you all today. But I hope, I hope that they helped. I hope they made you not as scared to, to do that. Okay, how are we feeling? Good. How are we feeling? What would you guys think? Huh? I love that. I love that. Hat. I love that envelope. Love so good. Your card looks fantastic. Is it not? Because yes. let me tell you, my homeschool handwriting, I don't want that on some fancy envelopes that I'm trying to send to somebody. No, I do not. you don't. Hilarious story, too. My sister, when she got married in 2017, uh, she had beautiful invitations and envelopes. Hers was an elopement, so you only had to send a couple. So we could kind of go all out with them. And when my mom left a note because if you didn't know I didn't know you could like leave a sticky note for your mail courier and they will like leave you a book of stamps you know you can like leave a sticky note in your mailbox they will see it and leave you stamps if you leave money in there I didn't know that honestly 
So mom said, I need some stamps for a wedding. Here's the money, whatever. Well, she goes out to the mailbox to grab the stamps for my sister's wedding invitations. Becca, they are zoo animal stamps. <laughs> we had no time, no way to go get other stamps. We thought maybe they'll be like love stamps or heart stamps or just something elegant and lacy. She gave us zoo animal stamps. <laughs> So of course she did. So like a great grandmother in Kentucky got like a, a monkey on her beautiful wedding invitation for my sister's elopement. It was hysterical. Um, but yeah, that was just a funny story. But I want these <clears throat> to look, I want envelopes to look beautiful, especially if it's for a special occasion or for your Christmas cards or something like that. And again, if, if you get on a roll, again, you're just copying and pasting the return address and you can get in there and design space, have all of these done in no time. You can even copy paste them if you want to do that and just kind of do a little bit of manipulation. Um, especially if you're not doing too much, too many of these, it would be a really easy thing to do to let your Cricut go ahead and draw these out. Again, don't forget about that um, pen hack. Telling your Cricut it's a fine pen using a medium pen. Uh, that was a really great, a really great thing as well. Do you have a question? Do you have a question, Fallo? Did you want to come say hi? Do you want to go say hi? She's no, she's no, gonna be she's, she's gonna be shy today. She's hiding. Very unfallow, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, my handwriting is all chicken scratch. Me too. That's why I really love this option because I cannot. My handwriting is horrible. Horrible. Can you use a calligraphy script? Absolutely, absolutely, you can. Uh, just be careful that it is a thinner font. Uh, if you want it to have a good uh, filled in look. Um, yeah, just, just be a little bit picky with your fonts, but most of them look fantastic. Most of them do. I love the zoo animal stamps for a wedding announcement. Linda, yes, it was very classy. It really just. It's probably cherry, not been done before. The cherry on top of the Sunday of my sister's wedding. Um, yeah, it was actually at a state park here, Panther Creek State Park. There is a horrible, extremely old cinder block heart that is at the top of the peak of the park, and that is where my sister wanted to, to get married. Oh, cute. For, it totally fit her perfect. And for some reason, there was a park ranger at the wedding. Now, we camped there. My mom used to work there. But why the park ranger wanted to be there for the ceremony, we didn't know why, but we were like, whatever so the park ranger was there and there was of course not no music or anything it was just a couple of people up at the tip top of the park that's all it was and the ceremony was almost done it was almost to like i do i do kiss the bride type of thing and the park ranger that was standing there we don't know why her phone went off <laughs> and the song was uh, a Zach Brown band song, and it was, excuse my French, I've got my toes in the water, a double S in the sand, uh, you know, you know the song, I've got my toes in the water, but in the sand, beer in my hand, don't worry about nothing, something like that, so it goes off, yeah. right before the I do's, and it was horrifying, absolutely horrifying, she's just like checking her phone like it wasn't nothing, and I'm like, oh my this is a wedding ceremony turn your phone off and now my sister and brother-in-law they have the best attitude ever whenever they hear the song they say it's their wedding song <laughs> because it's the only song that sounds just like it's the only song that was played during the entire thing is <laughs> that song um and it is perfect oh, that was is... it chicken fried is that the song yeah yeah it is yeah chicken fried is the song oh. and sarah and josh have the best attitude about it it's ever. their song it's their song. Um, and I love that Becca puts the join blur because I'm just chit-chatting away. But it's okay. I'm just trying to be discreet all while uh, in encouraging discreet. them to sign up for our membership yes. so that we can continue to do this. It's yes. the best way to support us. It is. Yeah. If you want the lights to stay on and us to be able to continue to talk about food a lot, then you will grab your membership with Oak and Lamb. It's a fantastic crafting community. We not only just do cricket, but we have branched out majorly. We teach on Glowforge, sublimation, um, woodworking, sewing. We do a lot of little one-off things like, um, what do women get into? Screen printing and resin projects. There's a lot that we like to dive into here and a lot that we like to teach you all. And 
you guys are our family. We th we're so thankful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to join the flock, click the link below. If you have any questions about the flock, what's included, what we can do for you, uh, how we can help you better master the crafting that you're passionate about, ask away. That's what we're here to do on live streams is answer questions. Um, Romo wants to know what's for lunch. I don't know. I have to go home and cut my dad's hair, which I'm very nervous about. Um, and then I'm probably going to go to Taco Bell because I'm hungry. But I can't eat if I have something like that to do. I can't do it. I couldn't, like, enjoy my Taco Bell and then go cut my dad's hair because that's how my anxiety works. I can't do it. I need to cut his hair first and then know that I'm done with the um, thing I'm nervous about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I okay. can eat. Yes. That's understandable. Yes. He can't get into his hair dresser, and he doesn't want to go to a barber shop apparently, so he wants to go to me, who's only ever cut my husband's hair, who has like three heads of hair in one. He has so much hair. Um, and James just picks a guard. He picks like guard two, and I just, a monkey could cut James's hair. And my dad, who has very thin, very fine hair like me, needs it to be cut today. So I'm going to be watching some YouTube videos. Any chance for quilt training? Yes, Susan, we'll do some quilt training. Uh, we can't do that live, though, because it would be really boring. Um, so it's something that we are going to work on um, as part of a little course that will be available. So fun. Yeah, yeah. Good question, though. Thank you. We don't like to say no to any area of crafting if we absolutely don't have to. The only one we've said no to thus far was direct-to-garment dye because the startup cost is ridiculous ridiculous for it yeah as a hobbyist as a it's, hobbyist yeah. if mm -hmm. you're doing it as a business exceptional business to get into there's a lot of money in it a great market for it right now but again it's a lot of money startup costs yes it is yes yes it is um jan said boring because jan is becca's mom who is a an avid quilter yes jan watching you go up and down and up and down with a quilt needle in fabric for an hour and a half is boring hundred percent unless you got a whole arsenal of amazing jokes for us <laughs> <laughs> just have them i you know I, I can have a prompter prompter right there like next to the camera yeah and you can just read them off i can just like google some really really bad jokes for you i had a cob salad at chick-fil-a trisha that sounds good my kids had chick-fil-a and i didn't i ate a brownie but i didn't actually get food i'm why? not sure why. i don't know why i don't know i didn't i wasn't feeling it but that's what they wanted well, they had a uh, testing today. That's why they're here early. Yes. They're and they finished up. So now they're going to be out for the rest of the week. Which so is great. they'll be here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, Becca. Yeah. Do you want to tell them what you're making tomorrow? What am I making tomorrow? The lamby. Oh, the lamby. Oh, yes. If you saw the lamb, I think we showed it. Oh, my gosh. Was it last week or two weeks ago? I think Becca it was last week. Becca had this prepped a long time. I was really um, excited about it. Because she's a professional. Well, <laughs> but Thursday's live isn't prepped, but, but yeah, matter. I'm it not really going to prep it. Actually, there's not much prep to it, but um, you want to say hi? Well, go up there and say hi. Miss Rachel will pick you up. Yeah. Go say hi. She's, she's nervous. nervous. Beck said she's jump, nervous. Jump. Come here, jump, jump into me this way. Jump, jump into me. God, she's heavy. Hi. Can how you, you doing, Fowl Kisses? Let them know oh. how your testing went. Yeah. How'd school go? Good. good. Just good? Yesterday you said it was the best day. You wished every day was this way. You love testing because <laughs> you're a weirdo. But it's good. It's good that you like school. Yes. It's Are you so sad good. that you're done with school for the week? No, she's not. Are, Are you, you ready excited for to be here? I guess I could have fixed your hair. No. Yeah. Huh? Do not Don't fix, fix your hair. hair? Okay. If you like it, I like it. Is there anything else you want to say? Would you like tacos for dinner? Burrito? Burrito. So you want Taco Bell or do you want to go to an actual taco or a Mexican restaurant? Mexican, Mexican restaurant. restaurant. They order for themselves, which is something I didn't even do till I could almost drive. Order for myself and I love it. Becca said they'll just sit down and be like, white cheese, please. Yeah. White cheese, please. But it's so funny because you'll have to show him. Beckett always does this. Can I have a? He puts his finger up. Can I have a? Is that what he does? Always. Becca? I'll have a sweet tea. Can I have some? <laughs> it's the cutest he thing. He saw that in a movie. Hey, I don't know. Bex, come here. Can you show him how you order? Come here. Come here. You're no, so no, cute today. Like, no, no. He is. So he, cute. He's nervous is what he says. He's nervous. Come here. Yeah. It is a stinker face. Don't come. 
Mommy, Daddy. Oh my goodness. There you go. Show them. You gotta show them what yeah. you do when you order. Do your little hand like you do. Or pretend like you're at a Mexican restaurant and you're ordering. They always spot of tea. May oh. have a spot of tea. Spot That's of not tea. what you do. You say, can I have some sweet tea, please? Mm. Do your finger. Oh. And apparently he talks just like that. Just like that. We're sticking can, to that. They can all Stop understand. Stop it down, you stinker. No more questions. No more, no more questions. No more questions. How cute is he in his red glasses? No more questions. We have work to do. We have work to do. We do. Thank you for keeping us on task, Becky. Yes. We would never get anything done if we didn't have him here. Um, but yeah, come back tomorrow at 1 p.m. and you guys can see Becca make the cutest little lamb in the world. Now, Becca, you're making it with the maker, aren't you? I am, yeah. Now, she made her original one with the Glowforge, uh, so it's definitely possible and a lot easier. It's a lot easier. But um, some of our friends have made it with Crashboard. Which is great, yeah. Crashboard and googly eyes. And some people have done it, I think, with chipboard. And some people have, I think someone did it with vinyl on a shirt. And so you can use the file in so many different ways. Yeah. 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 So Megan's going to be showing you how to do that tomorrow at 1 p.m. Be here or be square. It's going to be great. Um, if you're not a member already, grab that membership today. Um, get plugged into that flock. It's an incredible community, and we cannot wait to see you. I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your afternoon. Go eat something good for dinner please, you know, so we'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.